everyone! Welcome back to Royalty Soaps! My name is Katie. Today we're making a soap for all the autumn lovers out there. This design was heavily inspired by my best friend Caroline, who was like, Hey, I want a Chuggy Soap Month. So Caroline requested a very specific aesthetic, which is like, what'd you say, 2010's Taylor Swift? Fall. <laughs> Fall. So it's like riding boots, infinity scarves, like that kind of look with pumpkin spice latte as an accessory. <laughs> Not necessarily as a consumable good. Maybe red lipstick with doo doo roll curls. Caroline knows. <laughs> Here's a picture of what we mean by doo doo roll curls. I don't know why we started calling it that. I think my mom called them that for forever, like before I was even born, probably. But it's just curling iron curls that haven't been brushed out. And so they all just clump together into two mega curls. <laughs> anyway, you get the point, okay? Do you kind of get the vibe? So I made a soap inspired by that. I used this beautiful glitter from The Good Glitter, who, by the way, has an amazing autumn collection out. They sent it to me in the mail and I was like, this slaps, this slaps for sure. So you can use my link down below for a percentage off your first order and you should definitely go check those out. But yeah, that's what this soap is for. It's kind of basic, <laughs> which may or may not have been purposeful just based on that word. It also has a really cool stamp on it. It's cute and it smells good. So what else can we say? We're, we're, proud, of, we're proud of our 2010 throwback. Enjoy. This soap is going to be so easy to make, but I feel like it's such an effective representation of autumn as a whole. So I went ahead and colored the whole entire soap base oils orange because basically it's gonna be shades of orange. I also added some pumpkin to the base oils. Yes, real pumpkin, real pumpkin powder. It's from Wholesale Supplies Plus. Is it truly an autumn soap without some real pumpkin in it? I don't think so. So let's go ahead, pour in our lye water solution, just like so, and get this first bit blended up so that we can make our layers. Okay, so into the first layer, we're adding a little bit of brown oxide, deepen up that orange a little bit. Okay, so now to add the fragrance. This is Almost Autumn from Nature's Garden. It smells incredible. I will leave the fragrance notes on screen because honestly, it's kind of a complicated scent. It's a little bit fruity, a little bit woodsy. It's great. It's also a brand new fragrance, so this is my first time using it. We'll see how it goes. All right, let's get out our slab mold. There doesn't seem to be anything else going on with this fragrance besides very obvious acceleration. This would need to be something that you work with quickly. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I have this as a layered soap because it helps keep things like acceleration at bay. It still makes for really beautiful designs, but you're not having to worry too, too much about getting your swirls done properly. So keep that in mind. If you use this, it's probably gonna accelerate your batter. All right, gonna go ahead and pour in our second layer. As you can see that first one, is completely set up. And as I'm continuing to work with this fragrance, yes, 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 acceleration, acceleration, acceleration. Keep that in mind with your designs. Once again, for what I'm doing, not a big deal, but, and as I'm working with titanium dioxide in this layer, um, that definitely is setting up faster. You can see as I'm moving this around. Also, I had a little bit of ricing with this layer as well. Now, I don't know if I actually had that on both layers and I just mixed it fast enough that I couldn't tell, but I definitely had some with this second layer. So again, keep that in mind. All right, just gonna move this around a little bit. Okay, last layer, little bit lighter than that second one. 
definitely more orange because there's no brown in it. Just gonna pour that across like this. Then I'm gonna mix it up and go around all the edges again, just in case. This sucker gave me a run for my money. I was having to move fast. All right, let's go ahead and texture the top. We're gonna bring it to the middle today. I don't know why, this soap just really seems like it needs a textured top to the middle. Like that's kind of a traditional, I feel like, thing to do on top of soaps is just to take a popsicle stick and pull all the soap to the middle like this. Then do the same to the other side. And now for the final touch, we have some Fall Vibes Glitter. This is from The Good Glitter. It's part of their autumn collection. It is the perfect addition to this soap. I don't know the best way to do this exactly, so I'm gonna try a popsicle stick and see how good that works. Okay, that works pretty good. It may take a while, but whatever. <laughs> It's still a little dense. I was trying to spread it out a little down the middle of these bars. <laughs> How about a little makeup brush? Yeah, that works pretty good. I mean, quite frankly, it's like putting on glitter one bar at a time. Like what was that, two bars right there with that little shake? <laughs> That's okay. That's okay, we'll, we'll roll with it for this one. I cannot wait to stamp this. I think I'm gonna stamp it in gold. We'll see though, because brown might be more effective. And again, it's a simpler bar. It's something you can casually put out at your sink um, to kind of match your fall decor, but it's not so much that people are like, what the heck is even that <laughs> when they look at it? I know that's a problem sometimes. People are like, I love your soaps, but uh, the ones with frosting confuse my guests. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know what to do with that. Like, what is that? Caroline and I were talking about our favorite things about fall and that all of the early 2000s things are her favorite. It's what people would consider chuggy now, but it's the riding boots, the infinity scarves, the pumpkin spice latte in hand. And maybe it's because that was what was popular when we were teenagers and everybody that grows up, <laughs> that's a time they favor. So we're partial to it, but she was like, it's just so cozy. And it's like, it's just, you know, the Ugg boots maybe. It, it's, I mean, what, what, what could you possibly complain about? It was just such a look and so many people indulged in it. She's like, I, I want a chuggy autumn soap. <laughs> I was like, okay, like basic pumpkin spice latte girl, I got you. You know, I didn't like coffee for the longest time in high school. And I don't know if that's because I just didn't drink it that much. Like I, I live kind of far away from our nearest Starbucks. And whenever I went, I just was a big fan of Frappuccinos because, hey, it's a milkshake, but it's in a Starbucks cup. So I still get to be cool. Um, <laughs> I just found coffee to be such an acquired taste. So I really wasn't into the pumpkin spice latte thing whenever that was the most common. Now I love them. I think they're awesome. I think they're so tasty. If I had a local coffee shop uh, closer to me, I might go to those more often too because I love seeing all the unique and individual blends that those coffee shops make, but ugh, my closest one is in Dallas, which is like 40 minutes away, and I'm just not willing to drive that for a cup of coffee when I can make some in my Keurig at home. You know what I mean? Okay, I think that's the last little bit. Ugh. These bars, while simple, I feel, are elegant. I'll bring you in for a little close up here so that you can see. And the fact that they have pumpkin powder in them, I mean, come on, it's so good. I will see you guys in 18 to 24 hours. We'll split them up, we'll stamp them. It'll be a party after this quick commercial break. Wow, look how pretty the next day. The glitter is doing some heavy lifting. Now I might do 
just a little bit of editing on this second layer here. It's not as vibrant and vivid as I want it to be, but overall the concept is really strong and this is what I wanted the soap to look like. But I'm just gonna make this one a little more brown, like this color here, and a little less like this color here. Also, it has a nice texture because of the pumpkin on the inside. It smells amazing. It isn't too foody and it isn't too woodsy. It's a good blend of both and it has a little bit of fruit in there too. Very much the perfect fall fragrance. Almost Autumn is a very, very fitting name for it. The question of the day is what is an autumnal activity you are looking forward to. I really want to know. Who knows, if you tell me some good ones, I may add it to my personal autumn to-do list. And let's go ahead and get the stamp on these. Here are our little autumnal soaps. They've all been cut. I'm going to put a little bit of King Tut gold here. I might not end up using King Tut, but I thought let's try it. I'm going to spread a little bit on a paper towel just so that we don't have a whole bunch of mica just bunched up. Then we will take one and lay it down. Take our little stamp and tap it all around. Place it on the top like this and press down. Yay! Oh, it looks so cute. Autumn lover, ready to go. Admittedly, I probably waited a little bit too long to stamp these. They're about a week old and I should have really only waited one day or two days, but it still looks good. There we go, that one looks even better. Last one here, press down, back and forth, side to side. And there we go. All right, look how cute. This would be the absolute cutest soap in like a fall themed bathroom. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Does this, does this give you a small whack of nostalgia? That's all I'm hoping for here. Again, the fragrance is not super traditionally fall. It is called Almost Autumn. It is from Nature's Garden. You can go get it right now. But whenever I smell it, I'm not like, whoa, you know, autumn breeze, uh, fall woods, cranberry. It's not really like that. It's a little more subtle. It has some floral accords in there and it's definitely on the lighter side of fragrances for this month so it's gonna be a crowd pleaser I am very very sure so be sure you do something fun for yourself today go look for those first fallen leaves of autumn we're far enough along in September at this point I think you'll probably be able to find some but you guys know I don't really care what you do just do something for you and I'll see you guys in the next video bye for now Meow.